Hello, good day. We're gonna do a face off today. I purposely bought a razor to shave with. Probably the first time I've done that, I think, from memory. It is a Gillette Fat Boy. It's a 1960. It's uh, one of the last years. There is some anonymies, but there is one of the last years that you're able to service them. Well, easily anyway. <clears throat> Those two little holes in the bottom. Uh, you can use uh, pinch crimps. I forget what they're called now. To access the serviceable pull parts. Yeah, it's in pretty good condition. I'm not going to keep it because I don't collect D rays anymore. I've, like I said, I purposely bought it to shave with because I've never shaved one. You see, I've never owned one, so I thought, why not? I've got my bag of D blades. Hey, all sorts, all sorts in there, boy. All sorts. But um, I want to try and find something that I can nearly guarantee is pretty good. So I found these and nearly anything from Schnick. I say you pronounce it is Bob on. I'm going to be shaving with Tatonic shaving soap, eucalyptus mint, chubby number two synthetic, <clears throat> and because I've got a wealth of really nice razors that are mines today, I'm going to be shaving one with one out of my two razor box. Really, rather lovely coffin box, I must say. Very well made, still sturdy, and it's clearly over 100 year old. Warranted, manufactured by Thomas Turner Sheffield. But I ain't got none of Turner stuff in here. What have I got? I've got two of my favourite razors. I've got Japanese razors, both Kikaboshis. Um, I've got a Kikaboshi 55. That you've seen both of these before, by the way. Lovely razor. I've got that with some Christmas money. I'm near sure it was Christmas money. If it weren't, it was my birthday. Um, and today I'm going to be shaving with this uh, 6800 Fion Swedish Steel uh, Kikiboshi again. It says Kikiboshi Razor Razors Co. F. T. Don't really know what that means. Lovely razor, lovely grind, nice little silver inlay, third pin. It's just lovely, really. Gimping on the bottom only. And I'd say it is, it's kind of like a half hollow to me. Yeah, I think it, to me it's a half hollow. So, you know, when you've got not loads, lots of nice shave, uh, razors, sometimes you've got to kind of make an excuse to shave with one. So, that's my excuse. Let's slide the old schnick out. Can't remember if I've ever shaved with one of these razor blades, but it don't matter. Like I said, it's nearly guaranteed good shave. Just making sure I've not got two blades, uh, which I have. Because <laughs> I'll tell you a story. I did that a few weeks ago. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Excuse me, hang on. That is a two blader. Well, blow me down. I've never seen that before. Lead load blade with circle on top. So it's a, it's a two. I didn't even know they existed. <laughs> How about that? Circle, top part. Remember when you're loading the DE, you always hold the raised blade at the side. Plonker in. And this is a TTO, so you just do it up. Like I said, I've got it set for number nine. <coughs> now this uh, Kikiboshi uh, 6800 is one that hasn't got one of my edges actually. It come with a JNAT edge and dude said he had a, what are those uh, Japanese strops? It was shell called over it. Ka Kaniyama. It's saying like that, I'm getting that wrong like I normally do, but so I kind of knew he knew his stuff, let's put it that way. And when I looked under the scope, it's got a nice edge. It's, uh, it's not bitty at all or anything like that. That's the main reason I looked under the scope, really. And you can tell it's got a JNAT edge. Cause, well, not just a JNAT edge, because uh, Toddington, Toddington or uh, 
even a Dan's Ark or anything like that, give it like a frosty, frosty edge, as they call it, frosty bevel. So, away with the fairies then. I've been working really hard, doing my building and stuff, massively behind because of the old British weather. Got people waiting, probably impatiently, but they're not telling me yet. <laughs> This is quite a thick soap. I've got one complaint with this, I don't like the tub. I don't like it that the lava's got, you can just come out the side. But then, it's probably because you meant to put it in a bowl. And I, I am gonna be getting a bowl, I think, for Christmas. If uh, I've got any money anyway, I'll treat myself to a nice bowl. I'll see one on Etsy. I love red and black, you see, and I found one that's red and black. Oh, I've still got one more of them blades at least in there as well. I think I might even be... Didn't even know they existed. But I'm not a massive DE razor person. Yeah, there's, there's at least two more in there. <laughs> that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's why it says schnick too, I guess. It says twin blades on them. <laughs> just never, just see schnick and I thought, oh, that'd be alright. Hopefully it is, eh? Loads of them vintage ones in that bag would be knackered. Loads of them wouldn't shave that great, I suppose. Nice, I must say, after our day's graft, nice smell. Lava's up quite well. It does remind me a little bit of my, my um, cello out lava's a bit. Gets quite thick quite quick. But if I had a bowl, it'd be better, you see, because again, doing it here, it does my nothing. Going over the side, because my OCD kicks in. And it's just weight to me, it's wasteful. And if there's one thing I am, I'm quite frugal. I like finding the things where you can save a bit. And hmm. Lovely smell, I must say. It's about 21 mil from memory. Swedish still. Sounds lovely on the strop. It's just a lovely razor. Lovely razor, it really is. Cheers, mate. Get a bit low on the old pan. Remember, always keep your water in your bowl, topped right up to the top. So when you swish your razor in there, always swish it so it's spine down. So you kind of, like that. Always make it sure it's full, so then you basically got no chance of touching the bottom. Well, at least if you've got a bowl about the same size as mine. Basin, even. I was only going to do one pass today, but I might do, I might do against the grain. Let's have a look. I've only got a day's and a half growth. 
but I could fit one in today, you see, so I thought, wow, why not? Oh, let's have a go at this double blader, man. Yeah, you can really see it poking out now. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Watch one on my face, because he's... I really like the slims, so... Mm, I'll turn that down a bit, you know, that's a bit, a bit spiky, that is. Let's go, let's go down to, what are we? Let's go down to seven. It's not pulling at all, it just feels a bit bitey. Yeah, that's better. One of the main reasons they only made Gillette Fat Boys for three years, I think it was, from memory, is because they realised they could make them cheaper pretty quick. <laughs> Some boffin at Gillette realised that they were possibly over-engineering them and could definitely make it without as many mechanical steps. So, a presto, they bought out the Slims and then the Black Beauties and whatnot. And if you're ever going to get a vintage razor to start with, I really highly recommend getting a decent slim. It can be one of the, the you know, like the, the resin covered ones, the Black Beauties they're called. It can be the sh one of the short ones, one of the, the 109s or any of them, basically, because they're all just as good. You know, and as long as, as long as the barn doors, like, shut properly like that, yeah, because you can tell from the pictures whether they're a bit out, you can still fix them with a few taps here and there with a little tiny rubber hammer and that. But if you're not knowing what you're doing, like just make sure you get one that's all your geometry looks right, especially from that side view. And you should be good to go. And they're a good razor, man. You you know, you pair it with a good blade. You know, you can start at one if you want, but that's really pointless. You start at like three or four and you know, if you like me, you start at nine. <coughs> but um they're just good razors, like they're really nice to hold. Well, I think they're really quite sturdy for a TT, TTO. And I just like them, I really do. I've, I've had, God knows, 30, 40. I had a lovely gold one. Well, I've had two gold ones, I think. Yeah, I have, yeah. One that was in the proper like, presentation case and whatnot. And that was a beauty, that was. The thing is, like, you get some like that. You just need to get another one, didn't you? Because you don't really want to be shaving with a gold one. Unless it's your wedding day or something. Yeah, it definitely does remind me a bit of that cellar, the way it goes on my face and everything. I can feel like the slight sort of tingle of the eucalyptus and, well, possibly the mint, but I'd say it's the eu eucalyptus. Nice sort of tingle. <coughs> Excuse me.
it might be nearly time to get a new edge on that. That's four shaves, I think, of shaves with that edge. And I can remember I asked the fella how many shaves he'd had with it, and he weren't quite sure, so I think if you're not sure, it's a few, in it? It's not, it's not tugging at all. I just feel like it could be a tiny bit better now. What I'll do is I'll have a go on the old pasted strop so first. Start off on the one micron, go down to 0 0.50 and then 0.25. Not many not many laps, just and the V laps as well, because they look just a little short. Oh, I don't know, like probably about 150mm long. Um strops, little paddle strops. Yeah, look, it's a bit dry I think as well. It's definitely acting a bit like the old cellar, sealer, whatever it's called. An old dapper shaves trick. Well many you know, many a man probably does it. But I find if you just wang the, the brush in the old sink, generally I get it too bloody wet. My left hand just don't work as good as my right, even with larboring. Put that up. All the more reason to practice. Get them neurons firing on both sides. Definitely feel it tingling today. Hmm, it's tight. I'm not sure whether I prefer them schnick blades. I have to next time. I think it's a bit much. <laughs> there was me trying to pull them apart. <laughs> To have a little look online, I've never seen them before. But like I said, I'm not a D expert, and I'm not even a razor expert in any way, so I'm just a user. Made in Sweden. Really nice razor though. Just just as good as any of the slims. If I was gonna be really really picky, I'd probably say the slims are a tiny bit better. It's in pretty good nick this one as well. It's been used like quite a bit. Uh, mechanically it's very sound. Lovely. Right, dry fit down. Dry the straight off. Give it a nice strop. Using a bit of tallow today as well. Working outside all day, all week, all, all the time. Get a bit of moisture back into my skin. Yeah, it's definitely tingling me today. Is that's because I I normally shave unless I'm flat out like I have. I did like a seven day or again. Really go gruff. But I normally shave every two days if I can fit it in. I don't like rushing my shaves, you see, so if I don't fit it in, I just don't shave. I'll save it for another day. Oh, I love you, Neva. Hope you've had a good day, ladies, gentlemen. To half an hour. Toodaloo.